Uh, hey, this is Doug Prokowski with FaceFX. Got some really good news. The Evolver technology uh, that was purchased by Autodesk has been rebooted into Project Pinocchio. So you can go to projectpinocchio.autodesk.com and download high quality, ready to animate characters uh, that you can use in face effects or your game. You can completely customize these characters, their hair, their body types, their facial types, their clothes, um, and then generate uh, FBX, Maya files, whatever. Uh, these are great characters for use in face effects. And we've got some samples that uh, are already set up. Uh, so it's very easy to get these characters talking. We're going to show you just how to do that in this demo. Um, so once you've created your character, I'm not going to do it, but it's very fun and uh, very easy to do. You go to Publish. Um, you just want to make sure you have the FBX file selected. Uh, I like the high-res high skeleton uh, for all the fingers and toes. Um, and I use the facial bone rig in this tutorial. You could also use the facial blend shapes um, uh, if you prefer. And uh, that's about it. Uh, you know, we can use any kind of resolution you want, quads. Um, uh, this, you know, depending if you've got a male or female character, you can set the height appropriately. Um, so once you download your, your, uh, your FBX file, uh, you're going to end up with uh, the FBX file and some texture files. If you drag the FBX file onto face effects, uh, it first asks you for the batch export text file, uh, which we don't have. Um, there's no animation in these FBX files, and the batch export text file is asking us for frames and the associated bone pose names. Uh, but since there's no animation, uh, we just hit cancel on that. Uh, then we can see we've got our character. Uh, he's in Face Effects Studio. Uh, the one problem that we can see right away is that the eyeballs uh, are completely black uh, because our FBX importer isn't correctly picking up on the, um, on the transparency in those. Um, and so the quick fix that we have is just to uh, load up the FBX uh, in Maya and to hide the, uh, um, those meshes. Uh, so you just hit Control H or whatever to hide them or delete them or whatever you prefer. Uh, and then re-export the FBX file and that'll give us uh, a clean um, version that we can use in FaceFX Studio. Uh, so I've done that here, uh, this, this, this uh, FaceFX CV demo, no trans. Um, so we'll start fresh, and we'll drag that guy on, and make sure he comes in okay. Once again, just hit cancel on the batch export text file, uh, which is asking us to set up the bone poses. Now we're going to get our bone poses from a different uh, face effects file that we've already created. Uh, you know, with a, you know, we've already got the bone poses set up on one character. And we want to transfer them onto this character as well as all the other settings uh, that go with our setup file. Um, so here's our kind of uh, our new character. Uh, we don't have anything set up for him other than uh, the fact that we can just see him in Face Effects Studio. Uh, I'm going I'm to save him. Uh, we'll call him Face Effects CV Demo. All right, so we've got that empty .face effects file sitting there uh, with, just, um, you know, with just the character set up. So now I'm going to go over to my other file, uh, who's all set up. I mean, he's got a face graph, he's got bone poses, workspaces, color maps, and all this stuff. And I, I want to get all this, his settings onto my other guy. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do uh, is save him. Um, and I'm just going to call him uh, Bone Poses, because uh, that's what I'm going to be using that face effects file for to transfer the bone poses. I'm also going to export um, a template which is going to have the workspaces, the color map, the face graph, all the other things. Um, and I've already got that exported, but I'm going to call it evolver.fxt. And so now I just need to apply those two files onto my first guy. Uh, for the bone poses, I need to use the, um, uh, the command line here down at the bottom left. Um, this, uh, I need to use the bone pose command. I've got it all typed out here. So bone pose dash transfer and then I provide a source and destination. So the dash SRC for source file, that's where the bone poses file is that I had, and dash DST for destination, and that's this guy's uh, .face effects file. Now it's going to load that up in the background. Uh, now I just need to reopen uh, the file since it kind of modified it behind the scenes, and he should have uh, bone poses that we can animate. So I can select these bone poses, do the auto workspace, and you can see he is opening his mouth um, when I activate the open bone pose. That's good news. Um, you should be very ready to animate here. Um, here's the uh, FV target. 
Um, so all of his targets look like they've come in. He still doesn't have a, uh, a face craft to speak of. He just got a, has a bunch of bone poses. So that's when I'm going to import in the, uh, the template. I'm going to sync to it. And I'm going to select that evolver.fxt file. Uh, and I'm going to bring in everything, uh, but really um, I'm mainly concerned with the, uh, getting these links in the face graph set up. And I'll relay out the graph. And now you can see that I've got uh, all sorts of uh, controls that I can work with to animate my character. Um, and if I just drag on audio files, I can get this guy talking. So now, at this point, this character is set up just like the other guy is. We've transferred the bone poses, even if they had slightly different skeletons, like uh, one's taller than the other, uh, that's not going to matter. They do have to have the same bones, uh, the bone structure, so uh, all the facial bone rigs are the same, but you, you wouldn't want to transfer, uh, you know, body animations or something like that. If one guy had a low-res skeleton, the other guy has a high-res. Um, it's just for getting bone poses from one skeleton to the other. Uh, where the skeletons have the same bones, they're just in slightly different positions. Um, and now I've got this character set up and ready to go. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be uh, using him inside of Unity uh, to get him talking.